dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. Former Nigerian ambassador to the United States, Professor George Obiozo, emerged President General of Ohanese Ndibu, the apex social cultural group of the Igbo society. Two governors, Hope Uzadima of Imo and Dev Umahi, were at the election at the Dan Anyam Stadium. Also present were the Ministers of Science and Technology, Dr. Ogonaya Onu, and that of Labor, Employment and Productivity, Dr. Chris Ngiji. However, fellow contestants for the election boycotted the poll just as one of the leading aspirants for the post of Secretary General of the group, Chief Chooks Ibebu, pulled out of the election. Obiozo emerged President General of Ohaneze Ndibo. In a poll, he was the only candidate for the post at the stadium. And the delegates took turns to vote for him according to the open ballot system. He alleged that the process had become crooked and such and as such lacked democratic grace. He said, following obvious distortion of the proper democratic rules of engagement and filling the pulse of the Igbo nation, I hereby exclude myself from the Wodo led Ohanese election. Though I purchased the nomination form at an unacceptable sum of 300,000 naira. Regrettably, the process was full of manipulation and the outcome would be not be acceptable to Ndigo. Obiozo emerged President General of Ohanese with the active backing of Governor Uzodema. He was the consensus candidate of a group of stakeholders gathered by Governor Uzadima to help articulate a choice for Imo State ahead of the election. According to Ohanese Ndigo tradition, the post was zoned to Imo State along the rotational principle for the office last occupied by Dr. John Nwodo who is from Enugu State. It is important to note that Ambassador George Obiozo was a former Nigerian ambassador to the United States, Israel, and Cyprus. However, a former Nigerian ambassador to the United States of America, Israel, and Cyprus, Professor George Obiozo, emerged President General of the Igbo Social Cultural Group, Ohanese, in Dibu. He emerged in an election held at Dan Anyam Stadium in Owere, the Imo State capital, on Sunday. This is as other candidates for the, pos pos for the position of the President General boycotted the election. The board of trustee member representing River State at Ohaneze Ndigo, Dr. Jackson Omenazu, who spoke to newsmen at the venue of the election, declared the process that brought Obiozo to power as fraudulent. However, a lot of people have reacted to this news that George Obiozo have been elected as the new president of the Ohaneze Ndigo. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? 
Some people believe that the appointment of a new president is a good news for Igbos because it will help them to progress and also it will bring unity among them. Well, it is what it is. You all recall that there were huge controversies that trailed the election of the President General of Ohanese in Dibu based on some situation and circumstances, but as it were, the crisis is not yet over. But however, the election that produced Ambassador George Obioso, you know, was said to have been fraudulent as they were aspirants or other aspirants actually boycotted the election for reasons best known to them and uh, which is not unconnected to claims and accusations that had gone round prior to the election which produced or provided uh, George Obiozo as a consensus candidate for the election. But however, it remains to be seen what the reaction will be in the coming days. The Southeast group, or the apex sociocultural group of the Southeast, to a very large extent, have been embroiled in serious crises over the past uh, few months, leading to the election of a new president. You recall that it was said that the Ohanese Indigo are the ones championing the cause for uh, the uh, president of the Igbo extraction, the Southeast Presidency 2023. Well, it is what it is. It remains to be seen if this, uh, pres this newly appointed president of the Hanesi will continue to champion the cause or will uh, switch to a new agenda for the people of the Southeast. But however, it remains to be seen how other contestants who boycotted the election will take the matter. If they would go to court, or if they will just uh, sit and uh, have, uh, overlook the incident and uh, hope to contest in the next election, which probably might be in the next four years. Well, what are your thoughts, guys? Based on the crisis that, you know, rocked the Ohanese Indigo group in the last few weeks and uh, possible months, do you think that the process that brought uh, Professor George Obiozo is actually um, worth it? Is it actually uh, a fraudulent one or a proper one? Well, it remains to be seen. It is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular issue. What are your thoughts, guys? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story, as it were. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.